In today's What If episode, I go over a topic I've been thinking about for quite a while. What if the Digimon trading card game made a Jogger's Digivolution Omnimon? With starter decks 11 and 12 quickly getting spoiled in Japan, specifically 11, there's a lot in that deck that may potentially give rise to a Jogger's Omnimon. But with that in mind, would that power creep be too much combining the destructive elements of red and the memory consistency of blue? Strap yourselves in for some discussion because I'm going over potential cards that would make their way into this Jogger's Omnimon deck if it was ever made. Because not only am I including lore, but throwbacks to parts of the TV shows as well. And if you enjoy these types of videos, do consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that notification bell for future content. With the fact that we have dual tamers, one of the big what ifs I racked my brain on is, what if we had a dual egg? For the egg, Koromon and Sunomon, this red-blue baby provides the effect, once per turn when you play another Digimon with Greymon or Garurumon in its name by an effect, gain one memory. But in all honesty, I could see this being too powerful, for the fact that two colored eggs would instantly give you access to two colors. At least there's tamer destruction to remove dual colored tamers. But Digivolving would remove the dual color immediately, unless you had a Digimon that was both red and blue in the raid. With BT10 and the appearance of Cross Wars Digimon, there is already a hint that Greymon will make an appearance in the color of blue with the Blue Flare team. Potentially, it could be a red-blue Greymon, which could make the Jogger's capability even more ideal. But ideally, I think a dual color baby would be an indication of power creep and a more logical approach in that you could Digivolve into Agumon or Gabumon. Which takes us to the symbol rookies for a Jogger's Omnimon deck. Agumon and Gabumon. However, if I were to make a Jogger's Omnimon starter deck, there would need to be a third and fourth rookie for discussion. And because of that, I'm throwing Dracomon and Gaussmon in the mix. Now before proceeding, Agumon and Gabumon will need to have distinctive lines and abilities. One will probably search, while the other assists with Jogger's effects. Agumon will deal with the Jogger's effects, while Gabumon, being that typical blue Digimon, does all the searching. Agumon would be able to Digivolve for a memory cost of zero from a blue or red egg. In addition, it would have an inheritable effect of, end of turn, you can DNA Digivolve this Digimon and your other Digimon into a Digimon card in your hand by paying its DNA Digivolution cost. But this Agumon would also have a passive effect that allows you to Digivolve into a War Greymon from your hand for a memory cost of 4 if your opponent has a level 6 or higher Digimon on their field. Gabumon likewise would have the same cost requirements and passive effect, but its inheritable would be simply to draw a card whenever a Digimon is played once per turn. Then you have Dracomon, that's red. If I were Bandai, I'd also be sprinkling more teasers for Examon, since, you know, it hasn't been released. Dracomon would be a simple 3-cost red Digimon with 2000 DP, but its primary effect? Your opponent cannot gain memory except by tamer effects. Yay! Red finally has a memory blocker! And lastly, a red-blue Gaussmon that is a simple 4000 DP body for 3 memory. As for champions, the deck would have your Greymon, Garurumon, and a dual-colored Cordramon. Let's start with dual-colored Cordramon. This bad boy would have a play cost of 6 or an evo cost of 3 when digivolving from a level 3 Digimon, or a digivolution cost of 1 when digivolving from a level 4. This Cordramon would have a when digivolving effect of, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 4000 DP or less. Simple. As for Greymon, this Digimon would be a blocker. Finally, a blocker option for the Greymon family. 6,000 DP with a 2 cost evolution. Or should it be 5,000 DP and a 1 cost evolution? With Nokia and Tribal options out there right now, I think 2 is the more appropriate memory cost. With Garurumon, this is one of the least likely Digimon I see ever being made. But remember in the Digimon Adventure series when Piedmon absolutely tore apart War Greymon? And then Garurumon came up to him and was like, Yo, boy, I got your back, and healed him. On play, you can play one War Greymon from your trash without paying its memory cost. Then delete this Digimon and play one Gabumon from your hand. 10 cost to play, Evo cost 3. Which means for ultimates there are only two options, Metal Greymon and Rare Garurumon. For Metal Greymon, his Digivolution cost would be 4 as normal with a play cost of 8. With an inheritable of, if this Digimon has Greymon or Omnimon in its name, it doesn't activate security effects on option cards it checks. 
As for where Garurumon, only a 3 cost Digivolution and same play cost. As for Inheritables, when attacking, once per turn, if this Digimon has Omnimon or Garurumon in its name, unsuspend it. These level 5s are primarily to give support to the level 6s, that way you can at least joggers into them. For level 6s, you'd have the standard Ward Greymon and Metal Garurumon in the deck. For Ward Greymon, it'd have a Digivolution cost of 3 and a play cost of 11. Your turn, once per turn, when a blue Digimon is played, this Digimon gets Security Attack plus 1. When attacking, reveal the top 3 cards from your deck, then you may play one blue Digimon card with a play cost of 8 or less without paying its memory cost. Place the remaining cards at the bottom in any order. This facilitates aggressive swings and also provides you ways to grab Were Garurumon and or Gapumons if you're trying to warp Digivolve into Metal Garurumon. As for Metal Garurumon, it also have a Digivolution cost of 3 and a play cost of 11. But its effects would be, when Digivolving, reveal the top 3 cards of your deck, you may play one red Digimon with a play cost of 8 or less without paying its memory cost, and you place the remaining cards at the bottom in any order. Your turn, once per turn, when a card effect would delete or return this Digimon to its owner's hand or deck, it does not. This Digimon can still be deleted by security cards, battle, or DP reduction. Metal Garurumon doesn't necessarily need to attack to recruit a Metal Garurumon or a Digimon that's lower in the red category. But if you happen to pull an Agumon and have the War Greymon in hand, and your opponent has a level 6, well you know where this is going. Omnimon. This new Omnimon would have a DNA Joggers from a level 6 involving red and blue Digimon. When Digivolving, Blitz. When DNA Digivolving, if this Digimon has War Greymon and Metal Garurumon in its Digivolution sources, delete one Digimon with a play cost of 15 or less, then trash the top card of your opponent's security. All turns, you may trash a War Greymon or Metal Garurumon from this card's Digivolution sources to prevent it from being destroyed by battle, card effect, or return to the hand or deck. There are several option cards left when it comes to War Greymon, Metal Garurumon, and Omnimon lore. Unfortunately, Gaia Force, Kokaida's Breath, Great Tornado, Grace Cross Freezer, Transcendent Sword, Supreme Cannon, and All Delete have already all been used. But with the current number of cards right now, I only have one slot available anyway for options, if my last card is a Tamer, which boiled down to Draymon Cutter, since we can't use the word Killer, Guru Tomahawk, and Double Shot. In the end, let's discuss Double Shot. Double Shot would be an option card that costs 8, with the following effect. If you have an Omnimon on the battlefield, apply both effects. First, you can delete any number of Digimon on the battlefield with 12,000 DP or less if there is a War Greymon on the battlefield. Or, if you have Metal Garurumon, return any number of Digimon to the bottom of its owner's deck with 12,000 DP or less. But its security effect allows you to play one Digimon with Agumon and or one Digimon with Gabumon in its name from your hand. Then you add this card to your hand. That's a lot to digest, but I was hitting the point of no return. And finally, Tamer cards. For these predictions, there's several ideas I thought of. You have your typical Taikamiya, or Mad Ishida Tamer. Or, you have a dual color Taikamiya and Mad Ishida Tamer. Or, you have a dual color Nokia Shiromine. But again, since I'm limited to only one Tamer, I thought it'd be best to go with Nokia Shiromine. Similarly to Davis Motomiya and Kenichi Joji from BT8, this Nokia Shiromine would have the following effects. Start of your turn, if you have a red Digimon in play, gain a memory. If you have a blue Digimon in play, gain a memory. If you have a white Digimon in play, gain a memory. Your turn, reveal one Omnimon in your hand, then suspend this Tamer in order to make the Digivolution cost into a Jogress Digivolution cost. This basically converts every Omnimon into a potential Joggers Digivolution, whether you want old school board removal, Blitz, or the new Omnimon I propose. Final thought wise, if you take into consideration every card I've mentioned in this video, this could be designed as a starter deck for the future. Make it happen, Bandai. Do it. Do it. But I can also see a lot of potential cards that could make this deck extremely, if not too powerful. What are your thoughts on a Joggers Omnimon deck in the future? Does it scare you or excite you that there could be multiple color crossing capabilities? Or do you think the limitations of not being able to digivolve from Were Garurumon to War Greymon are going to be issues for consistency? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, tonight you'll catch me on the Digi Academy's Chosen One Tournament stream, commentating with Tolapan. 
come out and have some fun, and I hope to see you there. I'll probably be taking a week or two hiatus with the delays of BT8, but fret not, there will be some incoming games and other projects for the channel. This is Digipanda, logging out.